Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create unzip of file integration. It means that sometimes we require to download a zip file from server and we have to unzip the file and whatever data file we have inside the zip file, we have to process the data file. So how we can achieve that kind of scenario? For that, we have a state file unzip operation. So let me explain the requirement. So here you can see, suppose this is our file server. In the file server, we have this zip file. This is the zip file we have to download in Oracle integration and whatever file inside the zip file we have, the same file we have to place in the processing folder so that the another integration can pick the file from here and they can process the file data. So how we can achieve? The first we have to create integration so that the integration can get the data file, the zip data file from server and then we will unzip the file and whatever data file we will have inside the zip file we will place in the processing folder. So let's begin. So here we have to create one integration. So this time we will create schedule integration so that we don't require to pass any request and response period. So I will give the name as xxsc for schedule and we'll give the name as unzip by integration 01 here. So once we create a schedule integration, we got the endpoint scheduler. For getting the file, we have to add FTP endpoint. So I will add the FTP endpoint so that we can download the file from server. Download FTP, I will give the name as to the endpoint. Next, we have to select the operation as download so that we can download the zip file. And here you can see, we have to provide the input directly from where we have to download. So this is the input directly from where we have to download the file. This is the file name. So I know the file name. This is our file name. If we don't know the file name, we can use list file operation. So here we will provide the file name. This is the file we are going to read from this directory and where we have to place this zip file. This is a download directory. This is the OIC virtual directory. So I will provide a directory as a zip zip. This is a directory where we want to place the file from server. Now go next. As we are just going, going to download the file, we don't require to provide any structure and all just done. So with the help of this endpoint, we are successfully able to download the file from server. Now we have to unzip the file. For unzip the file, we need to add a stage file operation. So I will drag this stage file here and give the name as unzip underscore stage. Next, we have to select operation as unzip so that we can unzip the file. And here you can see we have to specify the zip file name from where we will unzip. So we already downloaded the zip file. Where we downloaded, we download the zip file from the download FTP. In the response, if you will see, here we have the file name. You can see inside that we have the file name. This is the file name we downloaded. So now this is the file name we have to unzip. We given the name and you can see I specify the zip file directory. So where is the zip file provided? So we provided zip file in this directory only. So this is the directory that is, this is the zip directory. So we can directly map this directory or we can use the temporary directory we provided here. Now, so we can even use that same directory as ZIP. This is the directory we use. And now you can see this is the unzip directory where, where we have to unzip the file. So we have to unzip the file, suppose in unzip directory. We created, we are going to create a new OIC virtual directory unzip and where we want to place all this zip file, zip file file. So they go next and done. So with the help of this endpoint, we will be able to unzip the file. Now all the unzipped file we have to place over the different directory. So there can be multiple file inside the zip, right? So response of response of this stage file unzip operation can have multiple values. So we will add the loop. For adding the loop, we have for each loop and we will iterate the for each loop based on the response of this stage file. So here you can see repeating element. We will provide the repeating element as download sorry, unzip stage inside that we have the ICS file. Here you can see this is the repeating element that is the array element. So we will have the multiple files, right? That's why we have multiple file references. So I will map this here. We need to provide the name to this for each loop. So I will give that unzip for each. And I want to give the variable name as unzip for each loop where. Now, here we are done with that loop creation. So I will just click here outside so that the loop can be created. So now loop added, we have one error because we don't have anything inside the loop. We have to add one thing. 
minimum one. So what we want inside the loop, we want to place all the file over server, right? To different directions. So again, I will add the FTP connection here. Give the name as write unzip file in the rest for FTP. Next, here we have to write select write operation so that we can create file on different directory here in the processing folder, right? So I will give take the directory processing directory name. And now here you can see output directory, right? This is the output directory where we have to write the file. So I want to write the file here and file name pattern. So what is the file name? So we are not aware about the file name, that file name coming from the loop variable, right? So I will provide any random value so that the so same we can map, map in the using mapper, just go next. And here I don't want to provide the file structure. So I will go for no and done. So we are successfully able to add the FTP endpoint so that we can write file over server. Here we have to provide the file name. Uh, we have already provided the file directory where we have to write the file. The file name we will pass from the loop variable. So this is loop variable. We will expand here. And inside that you can see this is file name. So this is the file name we unzip from the zip file and directory we already configured and here we have to provide the file reference. So we have the file reference in the loop variable. So now this is the loop variable. Inside the loop variable, we will have multiple unzip files, same unzip file we provided as a file reference to FTP so that they can place file over the server different directory. Now we are done with that. Just move back, save, and we have to add the business identifier. It's mandatory to have a each and every indication at least one variable as a business identifier. So I will add that one, go back. Now it's time to activate the integration. We are just going to activate this integration. It will take a little bit of time to activate. So yes, it can be depend on the file or the processing, whatever we have done. So let it's this time to run the integration. So we are going to run the integration. So now for running the integration, I need to click on this run. So once we will click on run, integration will be created, executed and it will download the file. It will download the file from here, the zip file, unzip the file and all the unzip file will process in the processing folder. So you can see we have integration is completed. And once we will refresh here, you can see we have three different files. As uh, in the our zip file, we have these three files. So if you will see the zip file, let me show you the zip file here. You can see this is the zip file and this zip file having three files and all the three files we got after unzipping in the process folder, you can see. So this is a simple way we can create integration to unzip the file. Even if you will see the log message, here we downloaded the file. You can see the response of that invoke download FTP. We have the file reference. You can see this is the file name we, as a, we provided and this is the file reference. Based on this file reference, we use a stage file unzip operation. And this unzip operation, we provided the directory. We provided the file name where we have to unzip. And you can see in the response of that unzip, we have multiple file reference. You can see this is the first file reference having the file name at other employee.csv, another having the technical consent.csv, another having the software development.csv. Based on this file, we iterated the loop. You can see the loop iterated total three times. Three times. And each and every time it speak one file and they place the one file over the FTP server, you can see. Right, write unzip file FTP. With the help of this endpoint, we place the file over server, you can see. So this is the simple integration where we use how to unzip the file from getting server. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries and you want to ask anything, don't forget to make a comment. Thank you so much for watching.